right, guys, we're going to the pumpkin patch today. We are going to the U Pick Red Barn, which is one of my favorite in town, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. So let's go. Come on, geez. Your hair's a little messy. So they just added this section this year. Last year, everyone had to park on the street and it got a little crazy. And this is actually the zoo. I think I've mentioned this before, but the zoo is literally right across the street from the Yupik. So the camels, I don't think you can see them, but the camels are right in there. There they are. You wanna go jump? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Run, 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 run! Oh. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> oh. So there's like hidden skeletons all over this place. There's one there. One there. There's that one. There's that one everywhere pro tip come on like a random wednesday morning at like 10 a.m and there's no one here please go 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 gonna bounce oh <laughs> good job Jake. so these are the pumpkin cannons they have these little pumpkins and then there's no potatoes. I think they also usually have potatoes that you can shoot out of these. <gasps> JC! <laughs> you'll, you'll make it. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> you'll be fine. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <gasps> oh! <laughs> Halloween also their big like final event is the season as they do this big thing called raining candy here and They just do a huge candy drop. I think it's like 20,000 pieces of candy And they just like drop it from the sky and all the kids like run over here and play and grab the candy It's just so super cute like fun event. It's always what they do like for the last of the season There's a little straw maze over there for the little kids And then the pumpkin patch It's over here they actually like pre-cut them this year. They don't normally do that. I'm planning our fall porch right now. We already have most of it up, but I want to get pumpkins like for the stairs. So let's see. Got that one. I think we're gonna get this big red one right here. And then a white one. Maybe like one of these, like those big kind of like tall skinny ones. I just want to put a bunch on the porch and make it look just like overflowing with pumpkins, you know? All right, Jace, pick a good one. Pick a good one, mister. Which one? Jace, do you want that one? Do you want that one? You can't have my drink, I'm sorry. Do you want this one or that one? That one? You're not sure? Oh, nope, don't. All right, Bryce cut me off. He said we're done. Oh, he's talking to you, Jace. <laughs> Jace. Jace, there's a kitty, look. Look, right here, Bubba. Oh he doesn't gosh. care, he wants the chickens. That one? Okay, <laughs> put your sticker one, on it. Here, look. It's your very own pumpkin, Jace. push it? Here, go. Good job. Good job. Yep. How do I get down? Same way you got up. <laughs> Here we go. Good thing we brought this. Successful haul 2022. Hey guys, it is now the next day from my vlog yesterday. Um, I realized yesterday that I 
for not to film the knitting for yesterday's video. So here we are, you're getting showing Rebecca. So I'm heading out to Rigby right now to show a few houses for some clients, but we had such a fun time at the UPIC yesterday. Jace freaking loved it and it was so cool because we took him there last year when he was like four months old and he like slept through the entire thing. He obviously didn't get any of it. So it was super cool to go back this year and like just see him playing on everything and like seeing him have such a good time and we had such a good time. Um, I got a ton of pumpkins for our porch. I think I'm gonna work on that when I get home. And actually, I saw this reel on Instagram the other day about like how to clean them and seal them so they don't rot. Um, Cause I want them up for like, I mean, ideally like a month or so. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure I'll post a reel of like my completed fall porch or something on Instagram when it's done. But yeah, if you guys are in the area, whether you're visiting or you're local or whatever, definitely like without a doubt go to the UPIC. Um, it's over on Rolandette and like Sunnyside by the zoo. It's impossible to not find it. Um, it's open. It actually just opened like two weeks ago by the time this is posted and it's open through ha um, Halloween. So you have a decent amount of time to go. They have season tickets or you can just buy like activity passes for all the games and everything. Um, and yeah, it's super fun for everyone. We all had such a good time. So definitely put that one on your list. There's also a few other pumpkin patches and corn mazes that we're definitely going to go to. So maybe I'll make a video on those too. If you guys like this style of video, um, and let me know down below if you guys like this more like vlog style video. I, I was actually talking about it on my Instagram today, but I'm trying to do more like local highlight tours and like out and about type videos. Um, and they just kind of are naturally more vlog style, but let me know if you like this or if you prefer more of like a sit down and chat kind of video and I don't know, we'll try to incorporate both or like one more than the other. We'll just go from here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you have any questions on life in Idaho or moving here or tips for buying or selling, like I said, I'm a realtor here. I work all over southeastern Idaho and I would love to help you guys however I can. So until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.